Hi, I'm Tarani Pennerman, founder of the best-selling naturally curly hair care brand, Curly Belt, and host of The Tarani Show, a show where we talk about hair, a woman's crowning glory. I'm so happy that you've allowed us to be a part of your hair care journey, and I hope that you enjoy the show. Welcome to another episode of the Taranique Show. I'm so happy that you guys have joined us for yet another episode. On today's episode, we're going to talk about when should you air dry versus heat dry your hair. So I know that in you know the curly hair community, we prefer air drying. Some of us prefer some. Some of us prefer air drying versus heat drying. So my only advice to you when it comes to air drying versus heat drying is not really only advice, but if you have, if you don't have enough time, then of course heat drying is the way to go. But if you are gonna go to bed and you, you just wash your hair and you're gonna go to bed, I recommend that you heat dry your hair because you do not wanna be sleeping in wet hair. That causes all types of issues. I'm from the Bahamas and we're like, if you have wet hair and you go to sleep, you're going to wake up with a cold. Maybe it's a myth, but have you noticed that? Like if you wet your hair and then you're going to sleep and you have the AC on, you wake up a little bit stuffier than normal. That's because you have went to bed with wet hair. This is not good for you and it's not good for your hair. So what you wanna do is if you are washing your hair at night, you should apply some heat to the hair. Use a diffuser or whatever, or a hooded dryer to get your hair dry. You do not wanna be sleeping in wet hair. Air drying, air drying is perfectly fine. Say if you get up and you wash your hair in the morning, and you're just gonna stay around the house and your hair is gonna be able to dry naturally because you're gonna be moving about all day. You're gonna go outside, you're gonna, you know, you're just gonna be moving. You're not gonna be sleeping or laying down in one area. Then air drying is recommended because if you're gonna go outside, okay, there's gonna be wind, there's gonna be heat, there's gonna be all types of, you know, effects from the environment that will help your hair to dry faster except if it's winter time. So I will not go out in like the snow with my hair wet. That's just a recipe for disaster. And yeah, I think getting sick is, you know, will happen if you go outside with your hair wet. So you wanna air dry your hair when you know that you're gonna be moving about and you're not gonna be sleeping or it's not gonna be, the weather is not cold outside. Heat drying. Heat, when you, if you're gonna be applying heat to the hair, my recommendation with applying heat is you don't want to put the setting on the highest setting that it can go because you are going to essentially dry out the moisture in your strand. So you want to leave the hair, the blow dryer at about the first or second setting. You want to hold it at least an arm's length away from the hair. So you don't want to apply the heat directly to the hair unless you're using like a diffuser and I, that's what that's for. You're gonna put it on the hair. Another good thing is you can dry your roots. So once your roots are dry, you can leave the other, the ends of your hair more wet because they'll dry faster. But if you absolutely don't want to like dry your whole hair and you wanna go to bed, dry your roots so that at least your roots are dry because that's what's you know closest to your scalp dry the roots and then the ends of the hair will naturally like just dry faster once the roots are are dry because the roots usually soak up a lot of water for some reason so those are my tips on air drying versus heat drying and when to do them again air drying you can do air drying if you are going to wash your hair and you're going to go outside or you're going to be doing stuff around the house you're not going to lay down if you know that you know you you're washing your hair and you're going to sleep then i recommend you blow drying your hair or sitting under a, a heated a hooded not a heated <laughs> it is heated anyway 
sitting under a hooded dryer and getting your hair at least 70% dry before you go to bed. So those are my tips on air drying versus heat drying and when you should do them. I hope that it was helpful to you. If you prefer air drying versus heat drying, please leave me a comment below. I want to hear from you. Anyway, follow us, The Tarning Show, everywhere on socials, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, The Tarning Show. Have a great day.